today. Today we have magnetic tile boards. That's right. We're going to be comparing three different magnetic tile boards. We have the play mags, the magnetic stick and stack, and the shape mags. We're going to find out what's the best bargain and also what is the best uh, board for your needs. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the show. As you know, on my show here, I love play mags. They are one of the strongest magnetic tile toys that you can find. The, the magnetics on them are very long and wide, and it's one of the strong, strongest magnets that you can find on these type of toys. And I have always used the boards. This is two boards that you can get from play mags. And um, I've had this for many years and you can see the, kind of like the scratches and things on that and um, But the, I noticed that the magnets on the tile boards are not as wide as the magnets on the original tiles that you are playing with and so I wanted to buy some more of these because if you want to have a lot of fun you got to get yourself one of these boards because you can build some really cool towers and, and buildings on these. So I went to go search for that and I came across two other brands. It was the Magnetic Stick and Stack and the Shape Mags. And when I ordered those, I wanted to see what they were like, I found out that the Magnetic Stick and Stack and the Shape Mags are the same company. They're the same type of magnetic board. So now you only really have two choices. You got the shape mags or the play mags. Okay, let's talk about price point. If you're to buy play mags, that's gonna cost you, for one of these, that's gonna cost you $21. They come in two different colors, red and blue. For the shape mags, if you're to buy just one of them, that is gonna cost you $18. If you order the magnetic stick and stack, that's gonna come two of them for $25. So the better deal right now would be the magnetic stick and stack for two of them for $25. So let's open this up and take a look. A red one and a green one. That's right, there is a red one and a green one. And right away, um, the difference between the two is that the Play Mags has a little spot for a handle right here. And you can see that there is a size difference. Let me back this camera up a little bit here. There is a size difference. So here is the Play Mags right here. And um, the uh, um, we'll just call these the uh, Shape Mags. Um, that's a little bit higher. Now when we take a look at the magnetics right here, let's see if they're in this about the same shape. Yes, they are in the same shape. So the reason that the um, shape mags is a little bit uh, wider is that they give a little bit of extra room right here. So if we take a magnet, you can see that it has plenty of uh, playroom here. It um, and the play mag, it's right on the edge. So it might fall over a little bit, um, but once you start you know, building some buildings, you don't have that issue. But you can see that it's the magnets on the play mags are right on the edge, and the shape mags are right here. Now, right away, when I first grabbed this shape mag over here, I noticed um, there is a little bit of a, of a bend right here. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't, it just has kind of a flimsy feel to it, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be an issue. On the play mags, definitely sturdier. And so this one, I don't know, it just has a little bit of a... I think, I think there's like a little crack yeah, it's, it doesn't, it seems a little more of a flimsy feel. I take this plastic here that covers, that covers this to make it, to make it protect it. So right away, just the build quality, I would have to say the Play Megs is a sturdier one. Um, but, you know, we'll see over time how these hold up. But for, um, for the money, you know, you're getting more for your money with the Shape Megs. So let's take a look at magnetic strength here. So I'm going to go ahead 
Let me see here. I'll put that right there. And I'm going to see if, how many magnets that that can hold here. Get some. Let's try this one. So you can see it's not holding too very good. Not holding too at all. Let's try that again. Maybe it only works and it was like this. All right. So let's try the play mags on our little test. So we got one, two. So same, looks like to be about the same strength. I was hoping that it was gonna, eh, it can hold maybe two there. Not three though. All right, let's go ahead and make a box right here on the play mags. All right, let's see if I can, uh, if this won't tip over here. All right, stand up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. Can you build me a box on that one there, Lucas? Mm -hmm. Done. <laughs> Done. Let's see if you can tip that over. All right. Same slick. Same one. The thing that I like about the shape mags is just that little bit of extra room right here. Let me zoom in on that. I like that extra bit of room. You'll see that there's double magnets right here, but only a single um, layer of magnets. And it's the same thing on the play mags. Uh, the magnets seem to be about the same size in both, um, but just that I don't know, just that plastic. Um, it, it feels like an X, it feels like armor on here. Yeah, and you'll see that the supports on the play mags uh, are quite a bit different than the supports here on the uh, shape mags. Well, I want two layers on this one, so let's see what happens. All right, it's holding up. Okay. I got three levels on this one. All right, one. let me knock a layer down here. All right, he built two layers on the shape mag, so let's see if that can hold up. All right, it's holding up. All right, let's go three high. Hold it up. Okay, I got three. Let's, let's move these right to the, a little bit here. Okay, I built this one three high, so I'm just gonna kind of support it just a little bit. Oh. All right, let's see if this one can do it. Well, they're both even on that, so they both could not support three high, but uh, how many times are you gonna be tipping your board over? But we're just kind of testing the magnetic strength there. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. Once again, the play mags have always been sturdy. The only thing about the play mags is the magnetics on these right here. They are the old mag magnets. They're not the wide and longer magnets. And the magnets come right to the edge. One of these boards is going to be costing you about $21. Um, and they have a handle, but it's this has been very sturdy and I think I've had this for at least six years. The shape mags, a little bit wider, plain room right here that you can put your magnet on. The price on this is about $12.50 each. You can pick two of them up for $25. Um, the build quality, I don't know. We're gonna have to find out over time to see how it is. It's just a little bit of a give in on the sides, but uh, either way, I think you're gonna be happy. It adds a lot more plain enjoyment for building with these magnetics. I'm gonna have a link down below where you can find these on Amazon. And like always, have a fun day. Adios, bye-bye.